Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamon here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum in the last episode. We became champion of the Sinnoh region by defeating the Elite Four and Cynthia, of course. And now we have got a lot of post-game to go through, which is incredibly fun. So, there's a lot of things to do, of course. There is to catch all the legendaries that are in this game. And there is a lot of legendaries in this game. Every legendary up until Gen... Uh, for I'm pretty sure is going to be obtainable in this game, which is pretty hype. I mean, we've already got Menefi and Giratina, I guess, which are already two legendary, so I guess we don't need to worry about those. But the rest, yes, we still do need to catch those. Now, other than that, we still also have the fight area that we need to go to and, um, you know, do stuff there. And who knows, maybe even do the Battle Frontier, and of course, probably also do the Elite for re-battles and I think there's also gym leader re-battles in the fight area so that's gonna be fun as well for now I don't I don't know if they actually the creator actually added anything else new in the post game but we're gonna be finding out uh, pretty soon um, I guess we got the, the roaming Pokemon as well um, or like how do they call that the swarm Pokemon I think they, they called that right so the little uh, little, little girl the little, I think it's Dawn's sister that, you know, tells you what Pokemon is where. I don't know if that's even in this game because you can pretty much get any Pokemon everywhere in this game. So, Kevin, Barry came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship to, at Snowpoint City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. So obviously that leads us to the fight area, which we definitely got to do. Um, I don't know what we are gonna do first. I was thinking maybe doing um, the Lake Trio first, but we'll see about that. What do you have to say? My Barry took off a rocket as usual. He was showing something about becoming the greatest ranger ever. He just can't steal that boy. I wonder what he he's after now. All right. Uh, so he's not here. So I guess we just if we wanna. Find Barry, we gotta get the snow point, but let's go ahead and check out uh, Professor Rowan's place first and see what he has to say now that we became champion. Well, we already did kind of talk to him, but yeah, we obviously did talk to him uh, after Cynthia. Oh, wait, Dawn is right here. What does she have to say? Hi, Kevin. You're friends with the elder of Celestic Town, aren't you? She told me that she had something important to tell you. Ooh. So we have to go over there as well. Interesting. Now, Rowan, do you have anything interesting to say? The world is immense. There are many more Pokemon. That means there are many more trails for you to seek and enjoy. Okay. Well, that was kind of boring. Alright, so that's the briefcase that we already got the other two starters from. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, well. I guess there's really not much here. There's only just, like, I guess this place down here that I want to check out real quick. She what she has to say. Who are you? Oh, you're Kevin? Hey, you're doing that Pokedex thing even for the professor. Wow, that's the same as my big sister. Go for it. Okay, yeah. I guess she doesn't have anything in this game. There are 300, no 400. No, no, there's a lot more Pokemon kinds than that. Yes, there definitely are. Not of all of them are in here, though. But anyways, yeah, I think... Uh, I was thinking about doing the Lake Trio first, but let's go ahead and see what the the Elder has to say, first of all. Uh, I think I gotta give Fly back to Tony, though. I don't think we even really used Fire Blast all that much, so... Um, I mean, we, we, we do kind of already have Blaine as our Fire-type Mon, so... But it's still nice to have coverage, I guess, but you know... Whatever, let's go ahead and get to Celestic Town and see what this uh, elder has to say to us. Ah, I think this is her, right? He well, hello, you look good. I did some research of my own since that spot of trouble last time. Not Coronet's acting up and had me very concerned too. But this is what I found in the shrine. It's a book. It's quite old. Let me read it a bit for you. Bear of the Shining Adamant Orb summons the Alga to the Spear Pillar. The guardian Pokemon of time will answer the call. Bearer of the Shining Lustrous Orb summons Palkia to the Spear Pillar. The Pokemon that binds the special dimensions will answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. Alright. So, to catch Dialga and Palkia, 
we need the Adamant Orb and the Lustrous Orb, which we already have. And, um... Yeah, then we can catch ourselves, uh, that. You know what, I think we will go ahead and go to Snowpoint first, actually. And, um... Go and just get into the Vide area and see what uh, awaits us there. Um, I th think that'll be more interesting to do right now than just catching legendary Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. I think it'll be fun. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this dude. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Yes. Oh, here comes Cynthia. I thought you would come. I'm glad I waited for you. I think it's good that our world is constantly changing. Of course, I don't want it to become what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions. No one would want that. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy. Where Pokemon and the people around them can be happy for each other. I want the world to become a place where everyone is smiling. The world could be so much better if we all tried to make it that way. I want you to keep traveling to many far off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people and Pokemon. I came all the way here so, so I could say that to you. Your horizons will expand again if you visit the fight area as well. I hope our paths cross again. Probably when I reach Challenge Elite 4. Aye aye there, let's set sail! Alright. I like how he has like a boat with like drills just to get rid of all the like ice things. It's pretty cool. Oh, I love this theme. This is a good theme. Oh, hey, Kevin. What took you so long? I'm finding you one million, hundred million. Actually, never mind the fine. Come with me, will ya? You're ruining, you're ruining the good song. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Kevin, I tried to get into the battle from here, which happens to be right here. Then these guys came along and got in my face about it. Like they're saying they want to test me if I'm good enough and all that. Like, does that need to prove anything? So let's team up. Like we did that spirit portal. Let's show those guys how good we are. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, there's an Elite Four and a Gym Leader. We can poop them. The situation just cooks. The drama and tension sizzles. Flint, the fiery master of fire Pokemon, is going to put you to the test. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. I don't know how I managed to get myself into this, but show me the skills that you got through the Pokemon League. Alright, here we go. A double battle against Flint and Faulkner. Let's see how well this is going to go. How, what levels are these going to be? Okay, level 74. That's fine, because I'm level 76, apparently. Okay, is it Intimidate? Um, what do I go for here? I could try and go for Eruption, but I think the Raichu outspeeds me, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to Flamethrower the Raichu. Alright, that's good. He went for Protect anyways. Alright, Thunder, that's probably just the Raptor dead. He actually hit Thunder as well. Then. Well, unfortunate. At least I can take care of the Raichu though. What does Barry have that could potentially actually deal with both of these? He has, I know he has a Ground type, but that's also a Grass type, so that's not really particularly useful. Now is it? Alright, that's at least the Raichu dead. And in comes Electifier, bringing out his ace right away. Okay, as a zoom roll, that can take care of the Arcanine, but it's not really going to take care of the Electivire. I'm going to try an Eruption here, and see if that will be enough to take care of the Electivire. Probably not, but we can at least try. We can at least do a lot of damage. I mean, look at that damage, that's resistant. It has to kill the Electivire then, right? That is resisted, and that does that much. Oh, wow. Does that have a Focus Ash? Really? Oh, no. It just lived, like, um, like barely. Well. Um, Barry, you're kind of useless right now, because you're kind of getting destroyed. You have very slow Pokemon, it seems like. Well, I don't know what the Electivire is going to do to me, but... Whatever happens, if I can live at least something... Who is he going for? Okay. Yeah, I can probably just take care of both of them the next turn, so... Should be fine on that. Because, I mean, they're not really going for me. Okay, now he's bringing out Terra. 
I know they're very slow Pokemon. So probably everything on their team has gone out speed. And use Protect again. Well, at least it's Electivire gone. As long as Barry doesn't go for Earthquake and kill me, we should be fine. Stone Edge, okay, good. <laughs> good, I was gonna be very mad. Alright, oh, Jolting is faster than me, so I'm gonna go for Flamethrower instead. Oh, I just went for Protect. Alright, cool. Should've just gone for Eruption, I guess. Damn, I don't think Totara can live this, even with the good defenses it has. Oh, no, it, it, it is, okay. Can you hit Stone Edge, though? That's the question. Man, everything has a Citrus Berry. Or was that a Shell Bell? Actually, I think that was a Shell Bell. Well, doesn't matter, it's that now. He hit the Stone Edge, good. Alright, Barry, you did something. Good. And he comes Flareon. Well, I'm not using a Fire Move now. Nah. Uh, well, the Jolteon can't use Protect anymore. I'm gonna go for Flame Power on the Jolteon. Oh, oh, goodbye to Terra. I don't want to activate Flareon's Flash Fire, so I'm just going to use Flamethrower here. Uh, it should be good enough anyways. And Blaine hasn't been touched yet. Okay, it was not enough. Oh, Flareon gets close combat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, now my eruption is royally weakened. Um, you know, I'm going to go for Earth. I'm gonna Earth Power Flareon. Okay. Well, I went for Earth Power on Flareon because I thought he might use Protect with Jolteon, but he's just gonna go for Thunderbolt and probably KO me. Yeah. All right, Barry, show me what you can do with your Snorlax. You're gonna take a close combat to the face. That's what you're gonna do. Ooh, these evolutions, man. I mean, it's not stab. Maybe he can live? Okay, good. He did live. Nice. Alright, KO something, Barry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, um... See, I kind of want to go into double, but I also kind of don't. Because there's going to be electric types. Um, let's go into my own Electivire. Oh, that's his last Pokemon already. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to go for close combat then. I'll save the Snorlax. I will not go for Earthquake. Oh, that was more than enough anyways. Watson is too powerful. Level 76, very nice. Ooh, well it's a good thing I saved this no likes. It's slack off. Alright. And Magmortar is last. Like the fire versus Magmortar. It's always a cool matchup. Well I'm faster. That's good. Will this be enough? It most definitely will, because Watson is just too strong. Very nice. Pretty easy. Your toughness is something else. You were completely overwhelmed. Well, it just has nothing to say. That is a lot of money. Hey, don't burn out on us. No, you're just getting in the way. Haha, <laughs> that was a blast. That combination came up short, but you're also a lot tougher as well. Promise me we'll do this again. I'll see to uh, talking with this husk hope. See, I got a lot tougher, yeah? Okay, I'm off to the frontier. What's this all about? What the? Daddy? Huh? Ah. If it isn't Barry, you've grown all sturdy. And Kevin, too. I haven't seen you in a long time either. Barry, your mother told me you'd gone off to the battle zone. So I had to come running looking for you. So, are you two going to take the Battle Frontier Challenge? The Frontier has five facilities that are all dedicated to battling. 
Each one has a unique set of rules, though they're all different. Of course, you have to be good to win at any of them. Anyway, I'm satisfied to see that you're both doing well. I'll go back to my usual place in the Battle Tower. I'll be looking forward to your challenge. Well, that's cool, huh? I mean, when it gets right down to it. You think so too, right? He's a frontier brain after all. He's a tower tycoon. I want to be cool like my dad. Kevin, that's the re one reason I decided to become a trainer. Oh, what am I going to do? Should I make the challenge now, or do I train some more? Okay, I've decided. I'm going to get tougher. By a lot. I finally made it here. There's no need to raise now. Cool. Hey, hey, I just watched you two battle. You're something special, aren't you? Being a lead four like that. Alright, howdy, the name is Buck. Say, why don't you challenge our island to an official gym challenge? Six routes on the island. One trainer on each route. Each being an expert in the type that nobody in Sinnoh said it specialized in. Sounds fun, right? You should do it. You'll toughen up for sure. And if you beat them all, well, I'll battle you. I'll be training at Stark Mountain. Be seeing you. Okay, that is new. Wait a second. That is definitely new. So, we get basically more gym leaders of the, all the types that we haven't had yet. So, there's a trainer in each route that is just basically like a, a fake gym leader. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's go ahead and um, pick up these berries. There we go. Put them in my bag. You're a Pokemon for Sinnoh, aren't they? They're not what they're used to. I'm seeing right here. Okay. Alright, so now that has opened up. We can go over there. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to explore this place a little bit. I can actually go through here. Um, what do you have to say? Whenever I go to a new place, I get excited about what I discover. A place I've visited before, even though this place trip me with new discoveries. Alright, anything here? Anything at all? No? Maybe I should use my dowsing machine and check. Doesn't seem to be anything, alright. Well, let's go ahead and heal up, because my Tiflotion is uh, still kind of uh, RIP. Uh, are these guys gonna battle me? We're doing a feature on tough trainers in the battle zone. That's where you come in. Well, you need to battle us. Sure. What levels are these gonna be good? Last time I battled someone in the Pokemon Center, they were like very low leveled. Level 70. I mean, that's pretty good. Seems like a pretty good level. Alright. Eruption it is! Let's go! That's <laughs> all we gotta do. So... I think he said six players, right? There would be like six trainers with types nobody specializes in. So that would probably mean Fairy would be one of them, that's for sure. Um, there's not one for Dragon either, so that's gonna be kind of exciting. Um, let me see, there is one for Grass, I guess there's a Fire Elite 4, there's a Water Gym Leader as well. Huh. I guess flying is one of them, right? Yeah, flying would be one of them. Dark would be one of them. And, uh... Can't think of really anything else right now. So I have a fighting gym leader. Hmm. Poison? Is there? Do we have a poison gym leader? No, we don't. So that's probably one as well. I go after interviews on my favorite Pokemon move. I tackle them, of course. I don't use tackle in battle stuff. So yeah, that... that those are some on top of my head, but I can't really think of anything else. Do we have a steel type? Yeah, we have Byron. Byron is steel type. Um, ground, we have Agatha, I guess. Or Rock. Well, we have Rock. So... I don't know. What other types are there? Fairy, Dragon, Flying... Poison. So there would be two more after that. Okay, dark. So that's like one more that I just can't think of right now. And I don't know how I can't think of that right now, honestly. Oh, it's a Torchic. Okay, this guy is gonna describe us an item and tell us what they do, but not really actually gonna give me. Uh, the item. So... 
yeah. I still need to find the choice scarf somewhere, but I don't know where. We should probably like check out the Battle Frontier, just see what's there. We're probably we're not going to obviously take it on yet, but we are going to check it out at least. Oh! I just got a scope lens from this lady. That obviously um, makes it so that I crit more. It's pretty cool. Though not really useful for me right now, I don't think. Alright, so yeah, let's check out the Battle Frontier. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. This is your first visit? Right this way, please. Oh, you have a Versa Recorder. How nice. We upgrade Versa Recorder for first time visitors for the Battle Frontier use. I'll borrow yours for a moment. Let's see, slide open this part here and take a taka a chunk there. All done, here you go. It was upgraded, very nice. Our other staff will be pleased to explain how the individual videos of Battle Frontier operate. I can go over general questions. No. I think we all know how a Battle Frontier works, right? You take part in the facilities that have, like, their own rules, and you get battle points, and you spend those battle points on moves, items, whatever. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So what I'm more actually interested in is what these things actually give us. Let's see what prizes. Okay. Wow. Okay. It only takes one BP to get these, which is pretty nice. Then we give 16 BP for um, the power items, 16 BP for the orb items, and we have all these that take a lot. There's a choice car, 48 BP. This is quite a lot. I wonder if there's going to be one that, to just find, though. Would be nice. 48 for wreck handy, that's quite a lot. Not really worth it. When there's just an easier way to like level up. Okay, so there's TMs here, which I mean we don't really need TMs considering we have infinite TMs. So I don't even know why you're there. Okay, scratch off card. Well, I don't have BP, so I can't do that right now. Yeah, and then of course there are the frontier brains that are gonna be like. Basically, the leaders of the facility, and uh, once you beat those, you will get rewarded quite a bit. Here's the battle castle. It's the lady, the princess. We've already seen those. Uh, we've seen Darak and Kaelin. It's gonna be interesting to see what the dialogue is if it's changed, considering um, we've already encountered them before. So here we have the battle arcade. It's like one of my favorite places, I'm not gonna lie. We've also seen Dahlia before. Um, I don't... Yeah, we haven't really s seen the guy from the Battle Factory yet, which... What is his name again? I forgot. It's the dude with the glasses. I don't... I don't remember what his name is. But it's a dude. Yeah, this is Battle Factory as well. Doesn't say who the leader is. And then, of course, there is the Battle Tower, which is where Palmer is. It's just straight up battles. There's really not much uh, to it. No crazy rules. Alright. Let your team out with a friend. Well, I don't have any friends. So, I'm sorry. And here we have the Battle Dome. Oh, the Battle Hall. Never mind. I don't know why I thought it was going to be Battle Dome, but um, I forgot her names well. The only ones that I remember are Dara, Caitlyn, and Dahlia, and then Palmer. I forgot what the other ones were. But anyways, that's the Battle Frontier. Um, that is the fight area. Uh, we've done a, a battle with Volkner and Flint. The double battle was pretty fun. Explored all the fight area and the Battle Frontier. So, yeah, next time... We are going to do these, this is six strong trainer challenge um, and go through all the routes here on this island. So it's going to be a lot of fun exploring the battle zone. It's, it's going to be great. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.